What up on in there? It's your boy Brian D coming at you. Some more Axis and Allies. Playing a game against QC Nicholas. I am the Axis. Looks like it's Japan round two. See what's happening. Okay, so what did UK do? Two infantry, two fighters. So it looks like he's doing the uh, thing, the strategy where UK just keeps buying fighters and eventually they'll load them up here um, and then go back and forth from uh, India to Russia for defense. So it's going to be tough. So I will need quite a bit of uh, armor to break that. Looks like he attacked here. Morocco. See zone three. Ended in a draw. So I guess they didn't lose a fighter that turn. Yeah, so he didn't lose a fighter, unfortunately. Right? Yeah. Two, three, six, yep. Yeah. Didn't lose one. Okay, uh, well, let's see what's going on over here. Looks like U.S. is trying to get some action going. Uh, destroyer. A sub here, or I mean, he has a sub there. Uh, okay, well, let's let's get to it. Going to buy a complex and six units. Okay, I think that's everything.
Okay, I guess that's going to do it. So someone gave me a really good tip, which I've been trying in my games lately, and it seems to, to work out well, is by putting the complex here. You uh, can reinforce your fleet if need be, but it also keeps them from really coming in, because if they do, they're, they're going to get smacked. Uh, but we'll see what happens. But there's that. I had to land these two fighters over here because, again, the number one rule is not to lose your capital. And I only had six units. He only has two, but uh, he has some battleship shot and uh, fighters, which against six infantry could happen. Uh, that's why the fighters are there, to make sure that I kill everything. If he does try to attack, which wouldn't be the best move anyway. Uh, but I do appreciate those of you watching. Keep the tips coming. I always appreciate those. Um, but otherwise, have a good day and see ya.